Hey kids, so in my everlasting procrastination to finish something important, I went to go dig up a fossil, wave machines, because we got nothing else to dig up, and after a bit of time this is what I came up with, which caught me by surprise because it really should have been made by someone else already, so I looked around, browsed YouTube, found outdated designs, weird designs, the same reposted build tutorial, also these things, like what the fuck are these things, these things are brain damaging not satisfying. Browsed Reddit, found nothing interesting, asked on Discord, only these three responded, this one has not even followed up so I'm assuming no one else somehow made this before, and it is so dead simple that this is one module, I don't think it needs a build tutorial it's literally just torches and blocks, the three regular torches are just to reduce light updates for the stingy people who cry lag, the input to this is a short pulse of 13 game ticks so when the block is powered the piston will retract for the sand to fall, and when it is unpowered the slime block extends to launch the sand, the clock is 28 game ticks, but this rising edge makes this 56 game ticks, which is the fastest I was able to make this, I'll fly around for the paparazzi since I doubt this needs a tutorial as well, also if you had a keen eye, these two input circuits have different repeater setups but they have the same result so don't worry about that, it's also a little large, and while hypothetically you can make it shorter by inverting the repeater power on this block, but I found it much easier maintenance wise to have the second torch on the bottom. So what is the main advantage of this compared to the three real sand waves out there? It's because it has one centralized input. Literally every other design I found has either two separate lines for the support piston and the slime block or one input that is surrounded which also limits the versatility. But here it's all controlled by powering the target block. And it's in this grid layout so you can create different wave patterns depending on how you wire this bottom portion, which is why I have the target blocks there in case someone wants to use dust. Better to have it and not need it, than to not have it and need it. Depending on your wiring you can have the standard wave, the ripple wave, the corner wave, I don't know what to call this wave, heck if you even try hard enough you can get this wave. Oh but why don't you just make a button panel to make it easier for us, and to that I say do it yourself because I have exams tomorrow.